Hello YouTube, thank you for tuning in. This is Ambi. We will talk about virtual environment and pip. That is pip installs packages. So what is virtual environment? Have you seen Doctor Strange? If you have, uh, then there's a scene where the ancient one creates a virtual environment and tells uh, Doctor Strange, the main character, that okay, whatever that you do here will not affect the external environment. Uh, now, why uh, would you need this? Let's say you have different applications. You're working on different applications or packages. Um, and uh, these different applications or packages need a different version of another package. And uh, let's say application A requires 1.2 and application B requires 1.3. Both will not uh, work with uh like 1.2 or 1.3 they require only that version anything higher or lesser is bad for them right so it, in those kind of uh, environments uh, it's nice to have you know that kind of virtual environment kind of safe space you do whatever you want and nothing will be affected outside that virtual environment so shift right click open a window there i have uh, as you can see inside the c drive i have created something called a playground uh, just a dummy directory you can create whatever you want and I will say pip install virtual env environment it says it's already installed because I, I have already installed it um, so when you run something like this when you don't give a, a local path to any package uh, PIP will automatically contact the PyPy servers, that is PYPI servers, uh, searches all uh, for all the package names and gets this particular package. You're downloading it and installing it. So let's create a virtual environment now. Virtual ENV, uh, ENV0. So I always create my virtual environments like this. I just start with zero. It's kind of easy for me to like remember, uh, but you can name it whatever you want. How however you want so it's installing pip wheel again wheel is something where you can download a package instead of uh, downloading uh, from pip you can download uh, wheels uh, particular packages and give you know install them in the same way right so now let's do dir here okay there you see an, an environment is there i will get inside it and then i will do a dir cd scripts write dir okay there we have activate i'm going to activate it now you see that uh, before c you have env zero that is environment zero so whatever that we do here will not affect outside we are inside this safe space environment now what do we install here pip install uh i'm going to show you a trick if you want to you want to know what are the versions which are there for a particular package uh, that you want to install or you want to work with? So this is how you do it. Okay, it says collecting class, could not find a version, blah, 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 whatever. And now you have all these versions. You want to install a specific version. Uh, let's uh, go with 0.6, shall we? 0.6.1, pip install flask. So it's downloading and installing, right? How do you uninstall it? Yes. Right. Now again, I want to see what are the versions which are there. So I got some versions. Uh, let's uh, say something like equal or greater than uh, point um, 10, maybe. Is that okay? Yeah, point 10. Did you mean question mark? No, I meant greater than, let's see this. Okay, something greater than, did it install or not? Okay, you wanna see whether it installed something, you just say pip freeze, it will list out all the packages. As you can see, flask point 12.2 is there, so it installed the latest version. So let's see. Since it's already installed, what I will do is I'll just change the symbol like this and see what happens. It's already satisfied. Okay. So it did not uninstall the higher version because it knows that, okay, there's a higher version just 
neglect this guy or whatever this guy is telling so if you want to install a particular version of package it's better it's safe for you to uninstall uh, a package which is already there now let me uninstall pip uninstall flask uh, y now pip all right I will say now I'll say equals install that package and you can also do greater than or equal to or a package which is greater than one but less than two something like that right you can use those uh, parameters or conditional operators let's say I want to upgrade package right so what shall I do I will say hyphen hyphen upgrade flask yippee right so it did that one now you can also uh install you know uh something else you can install it in a way where uh you don't have to uh like you know type in let's say you want to install some 30 40 packages right you don't want to type all of them like this like comma flask camera and whatever right you can uh take a text file uh write everything in there and you can you know basically go ahead and uh, point it to that and let's let's shall we do that here and we let's go into environment and um uh, let me cd dot dot so i'm into environment right i will say create a text file here files let's say files right packages hmm let me do this let me do this what, what should i type here i will say come on now i'll just say flask here if you want more you can type you know something else here you can i'll just type yoke something on your right so let's see what happens okay install hyphen r files All right, so that's how you do it. Uh, you just show a list and tell pip to install it. It will automatically go ahead and do it. So sharing is caring. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, like, share. Have a great day. Bye.